Hello, my crafty friends. Now, today we are gonna mix a little bit of old with a little bit of new. And I have three adorable card ideas to share with you. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have three different card ideas to share with you that feature an oldie but a goodie. So the cards feature the Hey Chick stamp set from Stampin' Up! So this might look a little familiar as this was one of the celebration items a couple of years ago. So besides bringing this cute little set back for us to use, Stampin' Up! also created some new dies. Yes, coordinating dies. So these dies are called the Chick Dies and there's a variety of different fun dies in this set that you can use in your card making. And of course, there's three different dies here that will cut out these adorable little chick images. Now, I did give you a sneak peek of these card designs in my Sunday morning video that I did live for you. So during my Sunday morning live, I gave you kind of a sneak peek of these three cards, but I didn't show you how to make them. So today I'm going to show you how to make them, except for that we're going to use the Hey Chick stamp set. But as you can see, it'll work with the Hey Chick stamp set, which is what I have here. Or these designs will also work with the Hey Birthday Chick. Now you can find all the information about these Hey Birthday Chick card ideas by clicking on the link featured in the description below this video. It'll take you over to my blog where you can see these fun card designs. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so for this first card, I'm going to show you a fun and simple technique that you can use with any circle shape that you have. So I happen to use a stitched shapes die to create my circle shape, um, but you can use whatever shape that you have on hand for this technique. So let me show you how to make this. So you're going to start with a piece of Calypso Coral cardstock for the base of your card. Then you're gonna cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. Now this is gonna go right on our card front, but before we put it on our card front, we're actually going to take a circle die, so I'm using a stitched die here, and we're just going to off-center it a little bit on our white cardstock and then just run it through our embossing machine. And then once you run it through the embossing machine, you're just gonna remove this circle piece. Now save this piece because we're gonna use it for card number two. And we're actually gonna use the negative space to create this particular card. So next, I just cut a three and a half by three and a half inch piece of just some pattern paper from the Playing With Patterns Designer Series Paper Pack. So we're actually going to just adhere this behind that circle. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you just need a piece big enough to cover that opening that you created. So now that I have that on there, we'll go ahead and adhere this to our card front. Next, I just cut a three quarter by five and a quarter inch piece of another pattern paper. And I'm just gonna adhere this off on the left hand side of the card front. So you can use any pattern paper that you have. I'm just using different patterns from this particular pack. Then I just used one of the dies from the new die set. So this is just one of those chicken wire dies. And I cut it out from a piece of crumb cake cardstock. And we'll just go ahead and adhere that to our card front. Then I just took one of the images from the Hey Chick stamp set and stamped it and then colored it in with my Stampin' Blends. Those seem to be my go-to coloring tools. You can use whatever coloring tools um, that you have on hand to color in your image. And then just go ahead and adhere it to your card front. Next, I just took a about a half inch wide by one and a half inch piece of just some scrap Calypso Coral cardstock. I added my little greeting that says, Hey Chick, and just added it to my card. Now what I'm doing is I just wrapped some linen thread around the entire card front about two times. And then I'm just gonna tie this in a little knot here and create a bow. 
And I like to make my bows a little bit thicker, so I'm just adding another piece of linen thread that I tied into a bow right over the top. And then we'll just trim off some of this excess here. And the last thing I did is just added a couple little embellishments. So that's it. Isn't it adorable? And what a simple technique. Plus, you can make two cards because, remember, we saved that little white circle from the center. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then on the inside, I just added some additional patterned paper. And then you can, of course, stamp a greeting on the inside. This one I'm going to leave blank, though. Okay, super cute. Okay, this second card idea is, again, a pretty quick and simple card idea. We're going to use that leftover circle here. And we'll just add a scallop circle behind it just to kind of mat it out and give it a little bit more color. So let me show you how to make this one. So for this card, I'm starting with a piece of crumb cake cardstock for the base of my card. Next, I cut a piece of pattern paper at five and a quarter by four inches. So this is just one of the patterns from the Playing With Patterns Designer Series Paper Pack. So before I adhere this, I'm going to add a couple of pieces to it, and then I want to tie some linen thread around it. So I cut a one by four inch piece of this polka dot pattern paper, and I'm just going to add that on the left hand side of this yellow paper. Then I also did a little bit of paper tearing. So I have a one by four inch piece of crumb cake cardstock. I tore it in half. And I'm just going to add this right to my designer paper here so that it overlaps onto that polka dot paper. Okay, so I again wrapped some twine around my pattern paper here. So this time I did it about three times. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tie this into a knot and then create a little bow. Okay, now we have our linen thread tied on here. We can go ahead and adhere this to our card front. Then we're gonna take that leftover white circle and adhere it to a slightly larger scalloped circle. And this will become the focal point for our card. So before I adhere that circle, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this chicken wire to the bottom of my card here. Now we can go ahead and add our little circle shape. So we'll add it right about here. And then I'm just gonna use a light crumb cake stamp and blend just to kind of add just a little bit of color there on the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and add our cute little chick. So I'm just gonna move the card up so I want to focus on this little sign. It's one of the dies in this particular set that you can get. And it has some, it has this little sign that has like little indentations. I don't know if you can actually see it. But what I wanted to do, because it's so light, I wanted to make it a little bit bolder. So I'm just using one of my markers, one of my Stampin' Rate markers. And I'm just kind of tracing along the kind of these little wood grain indentations that are on this particular sign just to kind of draw it out a little bit more so that you can see the detail because I just thought it was really cute but it's kind of hard to see. So just grab one of your markers and just kind of trace it out and then you can see the design in it better. And then you can go ahead and stamp your image on it. And then we'll just kind of tuck it underneath our twine, kind of use it to hold the twine in place. And then one of the other cool things in the set is there's a little die that cuts out all these little seeds. Um, so it is a little bit putsy to put these on, so I won't show you during the video, but you do have the ability to put those little seeds on there just with a little bit of liquid glue. So I actually used this take a pick tool just to pick up my little seeds and dip them in glue and then kind of added them all along my card. Okay, but it looks cute either way. So you can add these little seeds or you can just leave it blank like this. Either way is fine. 
And then for the inside of the card, I just, again, added some designer paper on the inside. This time I'm leaving it blank because I can use this for birthday or I can use it really for any kind of occasion if I just want to send somebody a little note. Okay, and this last card idea might look a little familiar to you. I have used this design before to create a variety of different cards. So again, I wanna tell you that you can really reuse your card designs and you probably wouldn't have noticed that I reused this card design um, except for that I told you. <laughs> so let me show you how to make this one. So you're going to start with a piece of crumb cake cardstock for the base of your card. And then you're going to tear the top. You're gonna to tear your card front here. So I just tore along this right side and this cardstock tears really easy. Next, you're gonna cut a one by five and a quarter inch piece of pattern paper. And I'm just gonna adhere this on the inside of the card. And this will be visible to the outside. And then our torn pattern paper will overlap that and it just looks kind of gives it a really fun look. Next, you will cut a two by four inch piece of pattern paper. So I chose a different pattern from what I used over here. Then you will cut a three quarter by three inch piece of pattern paper and put it kind of over here on the left hand side. It's almost like using washi tape, except for it's pattern paper, but it kind of has that same look. And I chose the same pattern that, you know, I used on the inside of the card. So it has a nice contrast there. And then again, I cut one of those little chicken wire pieces and we'll add that right to our card front. And then of course we have our little image from the stamp set. So I have it all colored in with my Stampin' Blends. Again, you can use any coloring tools to color in your image. And then I created another little sign. This time I said, have a happy day. And so I'm just gonna tuck that right under here, kind of have it overlap onto the, you know, inside of the card a little bit. And then I added a little linen thread bow here. And I just added that with a glue dot. And then for the finishing touch, I'm just gonna add a couple little embellishments. So I'm using some of these little gold enamel dots here and there you go cute right that's what the inside looks like and again you can stamp something on the inside or just leave it blank to write a personalized message okay so there you go now you have three different fun little card ideas that you can use with actually either the hey chick stamp set or the hey birthday chick and if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.